I'm Fox 26 meteorologist John Dawson. This is the tropical update for YouTube. Glad you found us here on YouTube. If you haven't already subscribed and always encourage you to do so to the Fox 26 channel. That way you'll continue to get updates as we're updating this uh, up this uh, tropical uh, outlook. This update we will do this every day at a little bit after four o'clock. So if you're new here, glad you're here. If you're a regular again, glad you're here. We'll be able to sort of dive in to talk about things that are happening across the Atlantic Basin. And sometimes we even take a little peek over and what happens is happening over the Pacific as well. But we are primarily focused on the Atlantic and what's happening. And well, it's quiet right now. We're not going to have any pro any complaints about that for sure, as that tropical outlook from the uh, National Hurricane Center has uh, put uh, no formations expected. Well, we'll just point out quickly that though that uh, kind of what's left of Arlene. If you'll remember, Arlene hung around over in the eastern sides of the Gulf, sort of headed down towards Cuba, but then moved through to the east. Now kind of interacting a little bit more with the Bahamas, giving a little bit more rain than what Florida wanted out of the deal. But again, not a tropical system anymore, but that's kind of what was left of Arlene. And as I mentioned, overall things are very quiet in the Atlantic Basin and that official word from the National Hurricane Center is no tropical cyclone formation is expected over the next several seven days. So that is good news. We like to hear that. And again, a reminder, they've updated that in previous years. That's always been a five day outlook, and now this is a seven day outlook. So let's talk about the bigger picture here for just a minute. When we're looking at hurricane season, uh, a reminder that tropical cyclones can happen in the Atlantic Basin uh, outside of the six months that we consider hurricane season. So June through the end of November is that official hurricane season, and you can see that most of this activity definitely happens later in the year. We've had activity happen before June 1st, and this year we even had it happen back in January. A tropical cyclone was identified by the National Hurricane Center and sort of going back and uh, noting that. So that's why we started with Tropical Depression 2 this year. And then we'll next system that begins to form if it becomes a depression will be tropical depression three and then eventually we'll get into the names in just a moment. But so here we are at the very beginning of the season. So our numbers are expected to be relatively low. We like it that way. We hope it stays that way as we get into August. Things definitely ramp up and then we'll get into the peak of hurricane season, uh, which is about the first week or so into uh, September. So while we focus on June, there are a couple areas that sort of get a little bit more attention than others or where historically speaking, we see that formation and we more or less saw that with Arlene in the fact that the Gulf of Mexico. I know this is focusing on the western or the southwestern portions of the Gulf, uh, but Arlene did more or less form in this red area here. When you look at those El Nino and La Nina trends, sometimes it takes these patterns and moves them just a little bit. So I think that would be arguable that the El Nino pattern that we're expecting to really take hold might have might move this a little bit further over to the eastern sides of the Gulf as far as that favorite area that we look for. Arlene formed and then stayed into the Gulf and then eventually fell apart down in the western portions of the Caribbean. That's another area that we would see June. Sometimes historically we'll see storms that form uh, down into, Ju into June uh, and then over in the Bahamas is another area where we also sometimes will see storms. So, so you'll notice in June when we see those formations, these are areas that are sort of in tight here around the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, the far western portions of the Atlantic, sign up kind of close to the US for sure. Uh, and it's just not quite that time where we see those storms rolling off of the coast of Africa and traveling all the way across the Atlantic. Historically, this is kind of where we see the action when we do see that happening in June. Quick look at the names again. We always like to talk about the names somewhat. Arlene is checked off. Brett will be the next name that we use when we get to that point. Not in a hurry to get there, but when we get to the B name storm this year, it will be Brett. So a quick reminder, you can always download the Fox 26 weather app. You don't have
have to be in the Houston area to take advantage of what's available on the app. You can go ahead and get that downloaded. You can look for local forecasts, but the tropical information will always be on there as well. And then it is nice to sort of be able to connect with us and see whatever's happening here in our studio. Anytime we have a live broadcast, we're able to sort of check in with what's happening across there. So the Fox 26 weather app and while you're here on social media, uh, go ahead and punch in at John Dawson Fox 26 Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I use Instagram uh, primarily when I'm talking about that hurricane preparedness quite a bit. And then I have my own YouTube channel. If you look for meteorologist John Dawson, that's how you'll find my YouTube channel and all the hurricane gear tests are sitting there ready for you to review if you want to go ahead and do that. Thanks for finding us today. As I mentioned, we're here every day of hurricane season a little bit after 4 p.m. Central Time. We'll be back tomorrow with another update.